This is what it looks like all put together. I just designed what I believe is the best emergency kit on the market and it's available right now. I think this is the perfect emergency kit for all situations. You're going to get top tier quality without breaking the bank. It's extremely versatile. You can use it as a get home bag, a bug out bag, a vehicle emergency kit and an all purpose survival kit. I handpicked every single item, I tested them myself, and just in case I also made sure they had great reviews. Most of these items I've been using myself for years. This is the emergency kit I'm going to keep at home, at work, and in my vehicles. This is the kit I would use myself and I would give to my mom, my dad, my brother, and my sister. The problem with a lot of other kits is that they're around $100, but they're filled with 99 cent garbage that you can get online from overseas. The other side of this is that there are kits that are good, but they're wildly overpriced, sometimes $950 and up. Made by big companies who are out of touch with the average person and their financial situation. With some of these cheap kits, a lot of the companies are counting on the fact that you'll never have to use this kit, so you won't know how bad the quality is. Or if society collapses and stuff really hits the fan, there'll be no way for you to contact that company. I actually expect you to test these items now on your outdoor adventures. I'm confident you'll be happy with the quality. I expect you to use this if your car breaks down at a remote location, if a major disaster happens or total societal collapse happens. I'm very confident that you'll be able to survive your emergency. Think of it like this. It isn't the Kia or the Nissan Versa of emergency kits. So as to say, it's not the cheapest version and it's not just enough to get the job done. It's also not the Ferrari or Lamborghini of emergency kits, meaning it's not extremely overpriced and impractical. Think of it like the Ford F-150, the Jeep Wrangler, or Toyota pickup truck of emergency kits. It's at a mid-range in price, and it doesn't look out of place in urban environments, but it'll also function very well in rural environments. It's multi-purpose. It'll do whatever you need it to do. It's durable, and it'll last you a very long time. Let's go over all the contents of the kit. First off, we got a low-profile backpack. I chose a durable and high quality yet simple looking backpack so it doesn't draw attention to you. You could have this in the back of your car, you could have this under your desk at work, you could have this on during an emergency. It won't look out of place. And no one will think it's filled with expensive survival gear. Anyone who understands emergency preparedness knows that a tactical camo super cool backpack is not a good choice during an emergency and during daily life. It'll only draw attention. It'll make you a target for people who aren't prepared themselves and desperately need supplies. Next is an SOL all season blanket. This is an extremely durable blanket that will keep you warm. There are homeless people as well as survivalists who have used these for years in urban and rural environments to keep themselves alive. This can even be used to carry like 100 pounds of logs. It's windproof and waterproof. Next you get an SOL XL emergency blanket. These are much better than the tiny terrible Mylar blankets you get in every cheap survival kit. I've used these to keep myself warm and my little sister has as well. Next you get a tarp. This can act as a shelter cover, a ground sheet, a blanket and so much more. Remember the kits that others will sell you will only have one little tinfoil blanket. I'm giving you much better options than SOL blanket, a tarp and a large all season blanket as well. Next is a contractor bag. A lot of survival experts swear by these. It's durable and multi-purpose. You can use it as a sleeping bag and even stuff it with leaves to keep you warm. You can cover your items with it and keep them from getting wet. You can carry food and supplies in it. You can use it as a ground sheet, a shelter, and turn it into a rain poncho. So now that's four forms of warmth slash shelter. These big companies can't and won't care about your survival as much as I do. You get six high energy bar food rations that have a 15 year shelf life. Unlike the five year shelf life rations you see everywhere else. These also have a lot of vitamins that your body needs as well. A water filter straw. Just use this to drink straight from the water source and it'll filter the water making it safe to drink. I use the same one. Next is a canteen kit. You get a canteen so you can carry water and a metal canteen cup so you can boil water and cook food. Make sure to fill the canteen up before you put it in your backpack so you have some extra water. So this is how it works. And for the people who sometimes get confused, all you have to do is pull this up like that. And then once it's up here, pull this and just go behind that. That's how you get your cup. Adventure Medical Point Nine First Aid Kit. This is the only store-bought first aid kit I would ever use. It's filled with high quality, practical medical items. 
ask any survival expert, check any top 10 survival first aid kit lists, and this will be on there. It's not just for little cuts and scrapes. It's good for even major injuries. It's an expensive first aid kit on its own. Next, you get a pair of work gloves. High quality gloves to protect your hands. If your hands get cut up in an urban or a rural survival situation, it'll be very difficult to survive. Duct tape, such an important item in a survival situation. Everything from pack repairs to clothing repairs, general repairs, shelter building, emergency wound closure, and so much more. I'm surprised at how many companies don't put this in their survival kit. Next is 50 feet of paracord. It's good for emergency repairs, building shelters, securing gear, and so much more. With this and duct tape, you're pretty much set. An emergency fishing kit. You need to have multiple ways to get food in case it becomes a long-term situation. So a fishing kit is essential. Another item that other websites overlook in their survival kit because they aren't knowledgeable and it just adds extra cost for them. Next is a headlamp. Very convenient for navigating at night and since it's a headlamp, you can go hands-free and hold anything else that you need to. It uses three AAA batteries which are not included due to shipping restrictions. It has a regular light as well as a red light so that you don't ruin your night vision and also so that people can't see you from far away. Next is a battery powered flashlight. Don't be fooled by the look of it. It's not one of those cheap 99 cent flashlights. This one is very good quality. I've had mine for many years with no issues. A lot of construction workers use this as well. It is a good backup for your headlamp. So now you have two options for lighting. This is the flashlight I have with me every single day. Next is a flint striker. It's a tried and true method for starting fires. It's waterproof, it's long lasting. You'll get like 4,000 strikes out of it. Next is some cotton balls. These are really useful as a fire starting tinder with your flint striker. Make sure you coat them in Vaseline when you get it to improve it. Next is a NOAA emergency radio. It has a flashlight, it has a built-in charger so it acts as a power bank, it's hand crank, and it gives emergency alerts. It's essential. Next is a folding saw. It's an indispensable piece of gear for getting wood quickly and efficiently to make fires and build shelters. Anyone who spent time outdoors and is an avid survivalist knows how important this is. Next is the cold steel Bushman knife. It's a fixed blade full tang knife that you can be rough with and it can still last you a lifetime. This has been my bushcraft knife of choice for a very long time. It comes with a sheath and an attached belt clip. It also has an extra little flint striker on the side as a backup fire starter to your main. As you can see, it has a hollow handle so you can put a stick through it and even duct tape it and create a spear for self-defense or hunting. If you want to see the flint striker, it's right there. A pack of wipes, a must have when showers and other means of staying clean aren't available. You know how uncomfortable you can get if you've been spending days outdoors and you haven't been able to clean yourself properly. Three high quality face masks. It's really important to have if there's some sort of smoke nearby, there's a fire or some sort of air quality issues. This could really help you out. Next is a high quality compass. Not the cheap little button compasses that don't work. This compass right here even works in cold weather, which is really important in a survival situation. Make sure you add your own local map with this for navigation. Even if you don't have a map in your kit, it still helps you maintain a consistent direction so you're not walking around in circles, which is very easy in the woods when everything looks basically the same. You also get a little SAS survival guide. If you're in a survival situation, you can reference this and it'll give you essential info you need to survive. It'll also have first aid info as well, which is really important. It's so easy to forget things and panic. This book will help you a lot. I suggest you read it at least once rather than just think you'll pull it out when an emergency actually happens. Now everything's inside the kit, it's ready to go. Filters right there in case you're wondering. Okay, so we have everything here and it's ready to go. Now I don't suggest you buy it right away. I don't wanna sell it to someone just because they saw this video. Take your time, go look at everyone else's emergency survival kits, take a month if you have to. Or if you can copy all these items and make it yourself for cheaper, then do that. It might be tough because I ordered everything in bulk and I got really good prices and you could pay a lot for shipping each individual item, but give it a try. And if anyone else provides the same or better quality kit at a better price, then buy it from them. Don't buy my kit unless you're 100% sure and completely convinced that this is the best kit you can buy at that price. I'm actually very confident in my kit. I know so many of you are looking for something that's not super cheap quality and you also want something that isn't super expensive and overpriced. 
You want the best value for your hard-earned money and you want one kit with premium gear that'll get you through almost any emergency. I truly believe you'll have peace of mind when you own this kit and you won't regret purchasing it. You can find this on the beacons button on my profile. I'll put my own site. It's called Ontario Tactical.